Forget the casinos, the shows, and the buffets. Well, maybe not the buffets entirely. Today, we're hitting the Las Vegas Strip on a mission for vending machines. I'm Danny702, and welcome to Las Vegas. Today, I'm taking you on a very unique tour, a tour of the crazy vending machines that you'll find around town. Now, let's face it, Las Vegas is a little out there. You never know what you're gonna find. One minute you're walking through a busy casino with exciting lights and sounds, the next you might be looking at amazing architecture, or maybe staring down a yard's worth of frozen drinks. But one thing is for sure, is that you're probably gonna end up doing a whole lot of walking. You might just come across some unexpected finds, and these vending machines are anything but ordinary. Today we're starting at the Las Vegas Strip on a mission for a vending machine madness. There's just something about putting money in a Vegas machine and having a guarantee that you're gonna win something. But I guess some of these might still be a gamble. First up, we're inside of the Link Hotel and Casino and the look what we have found conveniently located on the way from the tram station, a pizza vending machine. Now listen, I've been there. You're out late at night in Vegas. Maybe you're feeling a little peckish after a night of fun. And this thing is staring you down and calling your name. I mean, who can resist piping hot pizza at 3 a.m.? But here's the thing, for $10 a slice, let's just say that I've been tempted, but never committed. But they are open 24 seven and it's extremely convenient. So today we're answering the real question. Is the pizza vending machine a saver or is it a Vegas price job? Let's see. We got a pepperoni slice at $10.95, cheese $9.95, Italiano pizza, 10.95, oh, and then we're back at pepperoni slice. So you get three different types. This cheese, cheese, definitely hot. I don't think we want to go cold. It's a little over three minutes to heat up your pizza. I mean, look at the advertisement, and then look at the pizza. Bruh. I don't know about that. I'm not quite there. My <laughs> $10 cheese pizza. I've got two tiny slices of basil. And my cheeses look a little off. And not too far from the pizza vending machine is the Boss Cafe. <laughs> I mean, they definitely put a bit more cheese on this one here. Can we trade it in? I mean, kind of like a flatbread. It's got thick crust to it. A lot more bread uh, than like cheese and sauce, that's for sure. There's some spots that are crunchy and then some that feel really, really soft. Right here so I can get the cheese too. The price says it all. The slices of pizza here are the same price. Okay. And they they look a lot better. I mean, if this spot is open, definitely come over here versus the vending machine. But the whole point of the vending machine is the convenience and because everything else is closed. Very much lacking in flavor and cheese and sauce. Just for $10 a slice, you, you want it to be good, you know? It's not bad at all, it's just not good. So we're gonna keep moving. Don't look at that spoiler that's straight ahead. Let's keep going. We're actually gonna head outside to the Link Promenade. Check this out. There's even one located right at the bottom of the elevators. They are really tempting you with this stuff. All right, folks, let's ditch the frozen pizza for something a little sweeter. We are stepping outside into the Link Promenade, one of my favorite spots in Las Vegas to hang out, but there's something pretty irresistible located right over here. It's a Cake Boss vending machine for cake this time. Just look at those bright colors and those huge slices. This thing is just so tempting. And these things are popping up everywhere in Las Vegas. I've been dying to give one a try. I've definitely pointed this out quite a few times in different videos. I mean, the cake boss himself, Buddy V, must be doing something right. He not only has built an empire with bakeries, pizza spots, and now all of these grab-and-go cake ATMs that are all over the strip. I have heard mixed reviews about the cakes. I'm honestly not too picky when it comes to sweets, but you can definitely go wrong if something is lacking in flavor or especially if it's sale. These gals couldn't resist a slice either. I've been standing here for just like a minute or two and so many people have already stopped to take a look. Who wants some cake? I definitely do. Now this one is $8.95. It looks like no matter what choice you go with. They have carrot cake slice, chocolate cake, rainbow, red velvet, black and white, and then vanilla confetti. It does say best enjoyed at room temperature, so to wait about 15 minutes 
minutes before eating. I mean, honestly, if you're out here by the link and the In-N-Out is open, you can get a whole combo for the same price as the pizza slice. We have to head back to the same area we were when we came in to get to our parking spot. This is where the pizza spot was. And just FYI, they have another Carlos Bake Shop Express right here. But just look, I mean, you're walking by and you see this beautiful array of cake slices, the ones at the top, the one that I got just screams at you because it's so colorful. When we walked up to the vending machine outside, there was already somebody, two people grabbing slices, and then we grabbed our slice, and then right after us, there was someone in line. There's even more people wanting to get slices now. I want to get one, just so I get one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See, exactly. They're doing something right. I wouldn't say stale, I would say a little dry. Uh, this probably just needs like slightly more frosting, so let's get into the top part a little more. It had definitely worse desserts than this. This is not that. I think just by some of the rumors that you hear, I thought it was gonna be pretty horrible. The pizza was definitely drier than this. I, this, is, this is fine. Actually. The more you get to the frosting, <laughs> the better it gets. It's not the best flavored thing. If you're walking through and they scream your name, I would say give it a try. Especially if you want to take a photo, you know, kind of one of those impulse purchases. Kind of fun. Next up, we're going deep inside the Cosmopolitan. We have something truly unique here. An Ardo vending machine. Forget candy bars and chips. This vending machine dispenses something much more special. Original artwork. Each piece is unique and created by local Las Vegas artists, making it a fantastic way to own a miniature piece of Las Vegas itself. For just $5, an exact change only folks you can pull the lever and get a surprise art treasure it could be a tiny painting a detailed drawing a cool sculpture or even a piece of jewelry there are multiple automatic machines scattered throughout the cosmo so you never know what hidden gem that you might find here hey, not all of them are available we are at probably the busiest one a lot of the other automat machines are going to be in other areas of the cosmo that doesn't have as much traffic rolling through I'm gonna head over to the second one that's located on the second floor. There's also one on the third floor, and I believe one on the first level as well. Okay, this one looks really cool. Very retro looking. All right, this one seems to be a bit slim pickings as well. Some of them are sold out. Some really cool items. I mean, you can do chakra earrings. That sounds cool, but my ears are at least no longer pierced. Look at a fairy house. Oh, that one's sold out. Wah, wah. And just a little further down is another one, another Ardo mat. This one has a whole bunch of items to choose from. And you got those earrings, an animal wordy or ornament, lollipop trees, an abstract tree, barcode tattoos. I think what I'm gonna do is do the mystery box. But one of the ones that doesn't have what they are. So you can see like this one here, it doesn't have a listing or you know, it doesn't show what it is. I want a fairy house, but it's gone. But this one still has boxes. This one still has boxes. Uh, we're gonna do mystery artwork. All right, let's see, I don't know, you just pull the lever? Press it in. Hey! What do we get? Looks like a carton of cigarettes. <laughs> a new graphic artwork by Debbie Page Harris. A little block of art. This is my 11 take on neographic art. I have found the pleasure in creating these oak pieces using my hashtag nothing wasted stash. We now have a little piece of art from a local artist here in Las Vegas. Kind of a cool $5 souvenir, very unique souvenir to get. So let's face it, Vegas is a walking city and those beautiful heels that you bought specifically for your vacation 
might be causing some issues with your feet and your feet start screaming for some mercy. This one was a bit of a hard find. We are inside Miracle Mile Shops. This little gem dispenses life savers for your feet. Foldable flats. It's called Rollasol. Look, I've definitely been there before. Hours of exploring Vegas and your feet are burning. Rollasol here? Has you covered. How freaking cool is this? Now this one is inside of the Planet Hollywood, but I have seen them pop up in different resorts around town, like for instance the Venetian. But it is twenty dollars a pop. It does include the sales tax. Small starting at five and a half to six and a half, medium to large to extra large, eleven and a half to twelve and a half. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Sprinkles Cupcakes is back on the Las Vegas Strip, located here at the Fashion Show Mall with a cupcake ATM. I've enjoyed quite a few sprinkle cupcakes in my lifetime. I'm from Los Angeles where they are also from, but they also had a bakery located at the link a few years back and I would make a stop there all the time, especially for Christmas to grab a holiday flavored cupcake from the ATM. I think I've even filmed that quite a few times. Then we moved to Florida where they do have a spot inside of Disney Springs, but when we came back to Vegas, I was really bummed to see that they had been removed from the link. For a long time, you can only grab a Sprinkles cupcake from the ATM that's located inside of the airport. So when I saw this bad boy right behind me walking through here, I was so stoked. I love myself some Sprinkles cupcakes. This is located right when you walk in from the strip, so it's not a long walk off the boulevard. And Sprinkles was one of the bakeries that started the whole cupcake fad and the whole ATM fad in the early 2000s, I think it was. Let's compare that cake slice we just had from Buddy V and see if the Sprinkles Cupcakes is just as yummy as I remembered. And this basically is the whole reason why I'm doing this video. <laughs> it sparked an idea in my head. Show all of the cool ATMs that we have around town. And this one might be my favorite. They have a couple of choices, actually. We've got a red velvet. We have vanilla sprinkles. They're regular sprinkles cupcakes, so it's got like rainbow sprinkles on their vanilla cake. A black and white. Ooh, that's interesting. There's a banana cupcake. Strawberry and dark chocolate at the bottom. All right, and these are gonna be for $6.99. someone in front of us there's someone in back of us these cake machines are pumping it out another vending machine <laughs> I don't need anything from this one there's a pharma box I mean this might come in handy loaded with sprinkles I should call this one the sprinkle bomb just like I remember they have plenty of frosting on their cupcakes and their bread is always super soft and super moist I said it, moist. If we're comparing it to this cake, absolutely get the sprinkles. This one is definitely gonna beat it when it comes to flavor. Lots of vanilla, lots of sweetness. Not too sweet, not overpowering, but you immediately get just really nice, sweet flavors. Soft, gooey. I'm gonna go on and on about how much I love sprinkles, but let's not. Yeah. Cheers. And making this my last stop here at the Sand Dollar Lounge. Now the Sand Dollar Lounge is located here on Spring Mountain. We have been here a couple of times. This is the bar that also does the pop-ups during Halloween and Christmas that I've shown you guys. So the Sand Dollar Lounge does have a spot on Fremont Street inside of the Plaza Hotel. The original plan was to take you guys there, but this spot on Spring Mountain is just two miles from the Fashion Show Mall, and since we're running out of time, they still have the exact same vending machine inside of this spot that they do over in downtown, and to avoid having to pay for parking, this one just roll up and park and head into the bar. Let's go. So this 
AGM or vending machine dispenses drinks for the 21 and over club. Drink responsibly, folks. They do have the same exact machine over at the one at the plaza in downtown. They also have a champagne splitter vending machine at that spot too. This one is $5. I believe the one at the plaza was six if I remember that correctly. And you can get a tall can of the PBR. I'm not positive what that second one is. There is a mystery beer, no rebuzz, no exchanges, a Colt 45, a Coolers, and what's this one down here? Oh, this one looks like a local craft. That is the Silver State, it says. I think I'm gonna do the mystery beer. Oh, is it out probably? Oh, no. And we had a little technical difficulties with the beer vending machine, but got it unjammed and we got a bonus just because it was jammed up <laughs> so we were able to get two hey that's a pretty good deal but this is the one that came out we got the great notion it's a hazy ipa i've never heard of this this one is a gingerbread fog double dry hopped double india pale ale with spices we will enjoy this at a later time simply because we have work tomorrow and i gotta drive both ice cold straight from the vending machine thanks so much for joining me in today's tour de vending machine Comment below on which one you would be most excited about checking out. Please subscribe and the like for more adventures in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas. And we will catch you in the next one. Peace!